Good morning, friends. Thank you for coming to the Unbelievable Diaries. I'm not feeling real good today. My stomach is really, really bothering me. Um, it's been very, very hard now to get my fluids down. I felt like the first six hours, I guess, after surgery, I was on a roll. Now I'm slowing down, and I think it's because of me also incorporating my pain medication into my um, protein shakes in my water. Oh my god, and the pain medicine is gross. And then it makes me have weird side effects, so... One of the side effects is, is that I can't see up close when I normally can. And, you know, I have to scoot the camera back far like that. Or whatever it is. Um, my phone. Or the, whatever I'm reading. Excuse me. So, yeah, I have to scoot it back far just to be able to, like, get a good vision. Um, let's see what else. So, yeah, I'm... I have been walking and walking and walking inside my home to get some of this air out, guys. This air is no joke. I mean, it's so uncomfortable, and it starts from, like, right underneath your breast, or in man, your chest, to, like, I don't know, all the way down past your navel. It really, really is uncomfortable. And it hurts to cough. And it hurts to, like, move. Like, now, today, my neck hurts. So it makes me feel like I might have been, like, laying, like, like, well, with my head back or something, like, during the surgery. Because when I do that, oh, my God. It really hurts. I know they stuck the endotracheal tube down my throat. So now my throat is hurting very bad. So now the effects are like starting to take place and it sucks. Um, what else? Yeah, ambulation is a must, guys. You gotta get that air, it's partial air, partial flatulence out. So you can begin to feel better and you also wanna circulate your blood, so you need to walk. As much as you can. Um, so this morning I had to take this. It was gross. Colase. Docusate sodium. Colase. And let me tell you something. I can't swallow that. I'm not supposed to be swallowing that. I'm only two days post-op. So guys, I had to cut it. And I put it in applesauce and OMG, don't do that. Don't ever do that. Just wait it out if you can. That is gross. I mean, the flavor of the cola is stuck in my mouth for hours. It was disgusting. Not even water could get it to take it away. Blech. Um... So yeah, I took my pain medicine about around 5.20, and it's due uh, every six hours. I'm not going to take it. I, I'm not one to really take pain medicine, guys, unless it's Tylenol. I'm not a, I am don't like that. I don't like the way it makes me feel. And a lot of things really affect my heart and make me have palpitations. Luckily, I, I haven't had any, um, well, I had some really bad after, after surgery, but luckily I haven't. Hadn't had any um lately, and I'm sorry, guys, if I'm squinting. I just feel like crap, and I can barely even see. I'm not frowning at you. Um, what else? What else? I haven't had a bowel movement, and I'm so scared. I'm really, really trying to be transparent here. I don't know what that's gonna feel like. I don't want to be stuck. On the damn commode. Not having anything come out. Like really it's already tough. Just to have to sit down. 
and to move and bend certain ways. They really hurt. They really hurt my puncture wounds. So that's going to be a task. And that's why I took that colace because for what's to come. And that's why it's so important to drink your water. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm drinking. Very tiny cups. This is a tiny two ounce cup, guys. I'm trying to put liquid in here of water every hour. Go, go, go. I'm trying. It's so crazy because I went from drinking like this big old thing. I went from drinking big sports cups like this prior to my surgery down to this. Now, can you imagine? Do you think you're hydrated? You know, I'm doing the best that I can. I'm, I'm so prayerful because I know that it's going to get greater later. Like right now, honestly, I haven't dropped any weight. And I don't expect to right now. Because for one, I have all the fluids that they put in me from the hospital. I, I believe I'm still well um, hydrated from the hospital. And then two, um, all this fluid, I mean, all this air is still in me. So I think when all the air is completely left my body and when um, I'm really on my own, like maybe like the second week, that my body starts to adjust on its own, then I think the weight will start phew, coming off. And I'm, I'm sure that it will. I know that it will. It's just it'll take, it takes time, guys. Like for those of you that are that are really contemplating getting the surgery, don't let my situations deter you. I'd do it over again. I'd do it over again. I'd lay down on that hospital table and do it over again. Um, because this is I know that in the long run this is gonna be the best thing for me. And when I'm able to eat, honey, regular foods again, yes. I will. <laughs> um, my children, they've been so supportive. So very supportive. They love me so much. My little turtles. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I just want to get on here, guys, and let you know that I, I am okay. But I'm not feeling okay. I'm okay, but I don't feel okay. Um. I'm groggy. You can hear it in my throat. And literally, guys, my stomach is growling. Like hunger pains, hunger growling. Everything is readjusting. Everything is recalibrating in there. Um, another thing, if you've had the surgery and, or if you're about to have the surgery, and you know, one thing, let me tell you is, after you after your surgery, don't lift anything too heavy, okay? Because you know you don't want to pop one of your staples inside your stomach, and you don't want to you don't want you don't want anything to dehist, meaning to come undone or you know even your puncture wounds out on the outside of your stomach. So keep that in mind. Uh, I'm gonna sign off now because. I'm probably going to lay here and go to sleep. I'm so lazy right now. I don't feel like doing anything. I'm sure as time goes by, you'll see me without this nightgown on, without this on my head. Makeup on, earring. Bam! But not now. <laughs> okay, guys. I just wanted to come on and be there for you. And show up. And, uh, you guys take it easy. I'll be back again with another vlog. All right? Never leave me and I'll never leave you. Bye, guys.